Hey everybody, my name is Denise Barton Thompson. I'm an ACP um, with the Community Forums. I know that there's a lot of issues going on with Adobe Rush, uh, not being able to sync and connect with YouTube. And I've experienced that recently myself with my own video projects. So I know that the ongoing issue seems to be that when you're in the YouTube connection and you click on sign in and uh, the computer will then ask you to sign into your account. You plug in your account information and media encoder will then ask you for password information. It says, please wait, and then immediately spits you right back into the sign in. So it's not connecting. It's not keeping that information at all. So I found a workaround today and that workaround seems to be going through media encoder. So I've opened up Adobe media encoder 2020. Um, and I just happen to have the preset browser open. I've opened up the section down below where it says social media. And I have no idea if it actually works on any of the other presets, but I always default to the YouTube 1080p uh, full HD. So I'm going to open up the preset. I'm going to right click on that and go to the preset settings. Wait for that window to load up. And when it comes up, it's going to give for anybody who's never um, experimented with this before, it gives you a lot of things that are uh, can be pre-built into your setup so that when you go to export, it can always use those same settings. Well, one of those things includes all the different ways that you can upload your content to the web or to video services and so on. So if you're seeing here on the screen, I'm in the publish category, which is the last category in that segment. Um, and here I can pre-select multiple um, platforms for my content to be able to be uploaded to. And of course, the one I want to get to that's most important for me right now is YouTube. So I'm going to click the checkbox and you'll notice that it also has a sign in available for um, this setup. I click sign in, but this sign in is a little bit different because this is actually finding my my um, uh, Gmail and YouTube related content uh, uh, accounts and so on. So I'm going to click on my account that I want to associate to it. And it seems to be acting properly. So before it was asking me to put in a password and stuff where my Google and my Chrome already knew my password. So I knew that that wasn't actually syncing. But this does seem to be actually getting the right information. I'm going to click allow. And sure enough, it comes back with my account information, my channel. I can see my playlists. I can see my channel information and everything has properly synced. Now, something that I didn't realize until I started trying to troubleshoot this whole issue was that Media Encoder actually allows me to sync multiple accounts to this all at the same time. So you'll notice that there is a plus and minus sign. I can add or remove different channels all at once. So I'm going to click that plus sign one more time. I've got two other YouTube channels that I want to uh, use with this. So I'll attach my church channel, give it permission. And then sure enough, in the drop down, I've got my personal account, my church account, and I'll add one more for my campus. So I work for a university system. I'll add that in there as well. Give it permission. And sure enough, I'm able to easily access and this this has worked great. And I wish I'd have known about this before uh, to be able to switch out and pre select the channels, the information that I want to associate with this. And then, of course, uh, I can pre-fill in titles, descriptions, privacy, um, is it public, unlisted, and so on. Um, if I have custom thumbnails, I can upload them, add additional tags, and all the information that's needed to manage that YouTube content. So, um, And then the other thing that I want to do is just make sure that I save a copy so I have this as a, a backup. And when I do that and close this out, what it's going to do is add that uh, additional that new version of my presets into this user presets and groups section in Adobe Media Encoder. Now that's all fine and dandy. The question is, does it work in Rush? So I'm going to switch back over, come back over to Rush. I'm going to get out of this project because I was in the project before and it's still retaining the, the previous settings. And I'll come back into that same project again, open it up wait for all of the assets to make sure they're fully loaded and synced. That's uh, another issue that you want to make sure that you do give it enough time to make sure that it pulls all the content from the web and then head over to the share icon in the upper left corner, click share. And sure enough, 
there's my YouTube channel waiting for me. And that's awesome. Now, if this wasn't the right channel that I wanted to select, I would want to close the project, switch back over to Media Encoder, and uh, make sure that the right channel is selected in that drop down in the, uh, the presets for the connected accounts. Then when I come back into Rush, it should be on the channel that you want it. So I hope that it works for you. I hope everything is uh, okay and give it a go. Let us know in the uh, forums if everything is working okay. Thanks. Have a good one.